What's going on with you tubes? Got me a pack of camel filter lifts. That's a man's cigarette right there. Wait, did he say camel filter list? That's I did. No filter on either side. Now, if you want to light these assassin style, you light it backwards so the label burns first. And the reason why they call it assassin style is because snipers in the military who would smoke would smoke something like this. And if they had to drop their cigarette real quick, like the label's burnt, the label would be, would be burnt past. So, yeah. Do a little quick cigarette review for Facebook. And YouTube, because it'll get stolen without my permission. The perks to being famous, I suppose. Hello. Oh, yeah. That's good American made tobacco right there. No filter. Camel studs. For a sexy god stud like myself. Oh, would you look at that? He's smoking. That's so bad for your health. Yeah, so is extreme amounts of narcissism and too much exercise, but people do that too, so what's your fucking point? Oh, would you look at that? He's smoking. I'm also drinking off here. He wants a fucking hair gel. I can name something that's way worse for you than smoking, and that's texting and driving. Oh! Because that shit can kill you in a fucking instant. These take years to kill you slowly, so fuck off with that shit. Drinking and driving kills you a lot quicker than cigarettes, that's for damn sure. If a Cobra Carnival was an actual thing, then yeah, that'd be pretty lit. Um, I could, if I could get a tobacco selling license there and shit, that'd be lit. But that's probably not gonna happen, so you probably just have to bring your own smokes, I guess. But. Surgeon General Running can kiss my Asperger's. Now, when people send me stupid shit in the mail, they want a reaction. I gave them a fucking reaction. I commented on it earlier. Much of a nauseous troll sent me a uh, anal douche for men because they're sad, miserable fucktards who are more miserable than I am, and they're jealous of my fame. Let's see who has the last laugh when I got a smoking hot goth girlfriend or what have you sitting on my lap. Or just a smoking hot girlfriend. I'm just saying, like, y'all could talk some shit, but we'll see who has the last laugh. I'm only asexual when it's convenient. And that's only to a degree. I'm still straight, you know. The reason, the reason why I say when it's convenient, if you have a hard time getting laid, despite all the attractive qualities, the muscles and what have you, and you get it once a year, then it's easier just to focus on your career and other things, you know what I'm saying? Instead of getting bent out of shape because these chicks got no taste. <laughs> Straight up, no filter on that, so it'll be...
These are good American made cigarettes right here. Show that logo. Free advertising. The only thing that sucks is that they come in a soft pack, which means it's squishy. So you gotta be careful sticking these in your pocket. They squish up on you. The hard packs, which are the regular carton type, you know, flip pack. Yeah, those don't those don't squish up on you nearly as much. No, my pipe tobacco did not show up yet. Don't even get me started on pipes and cigars right now. Like, I already paid them the money for the shipping and handling and for the bag of tobacco. They made me verify my age again after they said they wouldn't. So I verify my age, and they're like, just to make sure you're old enough to purchase tobacco products online. Uh-huh. And then right at the bottom of that says, once you've been verified, you will no longer be asked to be verified again. I'm like, bullshit. I go to check my PayPal to see if my Teespring money had come in yet so I can order my whammy bar for my Stratocaster. And pipes and cigars charge me another 20 bucks, practically, for what I already paid for. So maybe it's their system. I don't know. I'm gonna have to wait a couple of days. They verified my age, my ID, my ID, my state ID checks out. They verified my age. It's good to go. They they'll send it out as soon as they can, I guess. So no, I haven't gotten it yet. Well, I could have just sent twenty bucks to my fucking bank account and what have you. and taken the city bus to a nearby smoke shop and bought us the same exact bag of tobacco for $15. And maybe paid seven, sixteen, seventeen dollars $17 for like 50 cents per ride, you know, because there's also tax. So, you know, I could have spent 18 bucks on that same bag, taking the bus back and forth from the smoke shop and what have you. And on top of everything else, I slip and fall on the fucking ice that was real fun, walking, taking care of business. Just enough money to buy a pack of smokes and do some laundry, so. You know, I ain't complaining. Nope. Being single is the worst of my problems besides my Asperger's, I ain't complaining. Get what, Thomas Welch? Get what? Pipe tobacco? No, I haven't gotten it yet. If you're the motherfucker that sent that uh, other package, then I want to unfriend your sorry ass right fucking now. I think I'm playing. My tracking said it was delivered today on your front. Yeah, you are the motherfucker that sent it. Fuck you, Thomas Welch. Fuck you, dude. You're a sad, miserable fucktard. You ain't no fan of mine. Why the fuck did you send that nasty shit, you fucking sicko? Fuck right off, dude. You are so getting blocked and unfriended. You're lucky I don't press charges for sexual harassment, dude. Straight the fuck up. Fuck you. You ain't no fucking fan of mine. <laughs> Fucking sad, dude. Unfollow. Unfriend. Block. Get bent, stupid fucking troll. You did not send pipe tobacco. Don't bullshit me. If I see pipe tobacco arrive at my doorstep, I will unblock that person. Uh, 
Oh, shit, my bad. God damn it. Well, fuck, I didn't know. God damn it. That's not the Thomas Walsh Brothers. Shit. Where's the fucking settings at? Timeline settings. Books, music. Oh, God damn it. Oh, shit. I can't find the unblock setting right now. God damn it. Oh, great. I accidentally blocked one of my fans on my own Facebook. The day just gets better and better, doesn't it? <sighs> Should have been fucking paying attention there when I was asking him. He was the one that fucking sent that fucking thing. It was a miscommunication, though. Shit. <sighs> Oh, I'll unblock him later. That was a fucking accident. God damn it. Ugh. Fucking typical.